When you think of dandelion, you probably picture a pesky weed. But did you know that dandelion has long been used in herbal medicine? If not, stay tuned because this video is for you. Welcome to my channel. I am Oni D and today's video is all about dandelions. Now, before I go any further, this is the dandelion tea that I use. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So dandelion tea is made from flower petals. It offers a delicate and it also offers a sweet taste. Now, you can also get the root. Right now, I am at Vibrations in Gary, Indiana. And as you can see, they have a huge selection of herbs and spices. Let's take a look at some of the ones that they have available. And right now, here is the dandelion root. Diuretic, liver, detox, immune system supports, blood sugar, relieves heartburn, and digestive issues. If you are in the Gary, Indiana, Northwest Indiana, Chicago, Illinois area, please stop by Vibrations. Check them out and, you know, get you some herbs to go smoothie green tea whatever you have roasted dandelion root teas offer a bolder flavor that can also have astringent toes so today i will talk about six ways dandelion could be healthy for you number one dandelion reduces water weight if you're feeling bloated dandelion tea could provide relief because it acts as a diuretic and it increases urine output. One study showed an increased urine output about two after about two one cup servings of dandelion tea made from the leaves of the plant. Now for myself, I know that I love to eat things such as chips that may contain a little bit more sodium. So although I'm mindful of the sodium content in the potato chips or whatever chips or just cooking in, uh, normally in what I eat, I try not to use sodium. But in an event that I do feel bloated, I also have always have my dandelion tea on hand because it acts as a diuretic and it could pull those water properties uh, from my body. Number two, it could promote liver health. As you may already know, the liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before passing it to the rest of the body. The liver also detoxifies chemicals and metabolizes any drugs or medicine that's in your body. As it does so, the liver secretes bile that ends up back in the intestines. Now, dandelion root has long been held as a liver tonic in folk medicine. Dandelion root tea can help detoxify the liver, help with skin, and it can also help with eye problems and relieve any symptoms of liver disease. So I'll make sure that I'll post any of the links below where I got my information. Number three, it can act as a natural coffee substitute. So personally, I do not consume coffee. I don't have anything against it. I don't have anything against coffee drinkers. I'm just naturally a tea connoisseur. Now, you may be able to find pre-prepared dandelion root or tea at any local health food stores, but you can also harvest it and make it from your own non-insecticide treated lawn variety dandelions. So the dandelions that you see outgrowing in your yard is the exact same dandelion that is plentiful in the stores where you may buy it. Now the roots of young dandelion plants sometimes are used as well and those are roasted to a dark brown color. Then after steeping in hot water and straining it, it can also be enjoyed as a coffee substitute. Number four, dandelion tea may soothe digestive ailments. Dandelion root tea can have many positive effects on your digestive system, although much of the evidence is anecdotal. It has historically been used to improve appetite. So for those who has lost their appetite, you can use dandelion tea to improve your appetite. It also soothes minor digestive ailments and possibly relieve constipation. Number five, it may help prevent urinary tract infections. Dandelion roots and leaves may help prevent 
urinary tract infections. Now, I when I had a video where I introduced all the herbs that was in my medicinal cabinet, I also mentioned Tahibo tea, which is also known as Partiarco. That is a very powerful herb that is also used to prevent and treat urinary tract infections. Please check out the video um, on that herb, which is coming up soon if it is not already released by the time you're watching this video. But it is said that Dendon Lion Tea combined with that works because of its antibacterial compounds and the increased urination associated with dandelion. Number six, it fights diabetes. So various studies have shown that dandelion tea lowers levels of blood sugar and can in turn treat diabetes. Now, I am not diabetic. However, I've read that it removes excess sugar that is stored in the body due to its diuretic properties and it helps in stimulating the production of insulin from the pancreas. It is a great way to fight diabetes naturally. Now, I'm going to put all the links in the description so that way you can go and do your own research. With everything, there are possible side effects. Dandelion is considered safe for most people. However, some people may, with anything, have an allergic reaction from touching or ingesting dandelion. Dandelion has also been found to interact with certain medications. If you're taking any prescription medications, please, please, please consult your doctor before drinking dandelion tea. Let's get into how to make it. If your garden is already flooded with dandelions, which sometimes in the summer it is, you don't need to rely on the store-bought tea. Just make sure you or someone else hasn't treated your lawn with chemicals. Flowers and leaves. Now, if you use the flowers and leaves, please make sure you wash them. Let them steep in hot water for 15 to 20 minutes and you are ready to go. For those that like to use the roots, please make sure you wash them thoroughly. Chop them into fine pieces and you can also heat that on high in an oven for about two hours. You steep one or two teaspoons in hot water for about 10 minutes and you are good to go. Perhaps one of the most important facts about dandelion tea is that it is easy to find and it is easy to make. Right now we are looking at the roasted dandelion spice. We also see another brand here. Organic dandelion root. Just make sure that the plants have not been treated. I repeat, make sure that the plants have not, the plants have not been treated with any chemicals before you harvest them. Also, harvest the plants when they are young, preferably. After cleaning and preparing the plant, pour hot water over the top of the greens or the roasted and ground roots. Steep, strain them, and enjoy. So this wraps up my video on dandelion and its uses, but before you go, please drop a comment and subscribe, and don't forget to like to see more videos. There's so much more to come. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you on the next one.